it's everybody's issue. Nobody wants deaths in their communities from homicides and suicides. Nobody does. So you frame it as a public health issue. There is no one that can argue against this law with FBI crime data or common sense. They crossed this issue, not so much me, but my type, they're done. Their political futures are over. Period. And when the press covers you, they cover all the, the police departments and they don't cover women. The only time that I've seen so women... So you like my message, but I'm not I, doing it right? You, you need to get them... That's right. You don't do it right. No, hold here, on. Man. I know. I well, use the women. Use 50% of the population. A society that with the propensity for gun violence because we're all packing is a safer society? Uh, am I losing something in the translation here? Am I losing something? My colleagues have said, why don't we talk about prescription drugs in Canada? Why don't we talk about health care? Why don't we talk about the 90,000 manufacturing jobs that have left this state? All we talk about are guns and gays and God issues. And I'm tired of it. And you ought to be tired of it. No child is born into this world a thug. No child is born into this world a criminal. No child is born into this world destined to be a prisoner. It benefits everybody if I'm succeeding. You know, if I'm educated, then I have I, I can have pride in whatever whatever race I sit at the table with. I have no problem of going here and there. I don't have a problem out of the conversation. It's a more money in your failure and more money in your debt than it is in your education. Best believe that. Sometimes when you look at a, at a, a straight random shooting, it's really easy to hate that killer. And when it is a domestic violence situation or a suicide or something like that, it's just not that easy. We can't just put him in a box of, well, they were crazy or they were bad people. So a lot of pastors feel like, okay, uh, you know, if I bring this up, this is what I'm going to be dealing with. And, um, and so it's better to avoid it. And yet people suffer in silence. Unless we want to just say, okay, I'm going to tolerate that, you know, 75% of the universe is dark today. It's okay with me if we live in a world where people grab a gun and shoot seven people at work. Well, what would it mean if that's not okay with me?